since the Cubs acquired him. He had been money. You see what he did before with Texas. And then coming, this is entering the game tonight, but tonight not at his best. Was trying to go 5-0 and as a member of the Cubs. And Mark giving up the home run ball. Yeah, I think the home run ball really indicates the type of stuff that Cole Hamels has. Obviously in Texas, known for a very good place to hit the baseball and obviously power the baseball. But he's been so good in the Cubs, not allowing the home runs. The last start, he had two home runs, but the previous eight, he only gave up one home run. For Cole Hamels, has a lot to do with how he mixes and matches. Tonight, you can see making that mistake on the fastball. It's not velocity. It really has a lot to do with location and how he sets up his changeup, Big Hurt. And and that's going to be pretty important for him moving forward. Yeah, Frank, any doubt that he can keep this up, the, the solid all, pitching in the postseason? He's, he's a big time pitcher, big game pitcher. Once he get to the playoffs, you'll see him turn it up. Tonight, Walker batting fourth, batting 171. He had challenged the guy, middle in with a fastball, made a mistake. It can, it can hurt you. But I'm not worried about him. This guy, he's, he's won it all, he's done it all. He'll be there. And you know what I love? It's a resume for Cole Hamels. He has that. Even though it was 2008 where he was the MVP of the National Championship Series and then also the MVP of the World Series, this is a guy that has the ability to miss bats, but also what's great about him in the National League, he can manipulate throughout different lineups. Knowing that pitcher's in the lineup, he understands how to go through a lineup better than anybody. Yeah, I mean, where would the Cubs have been without acquiring Hamels when they had the different injuries, and now, of course, their bullpen is beat up? Well, just not worried about their starting pitching. I'm worried about the bullpen. Yep. When uh, C-Sheck can close it out, but before you get to him, I'm still concerned. Yep, and uh, so something Madden will have to handle. So we look at the pitch selection percentage for Severino, who started out hot, then he went into a kind of a downward spiral. Looks like he's bouncing back. Yeah, to Frank's point, they need him to be the ace. How he's going to do that is he's got to be a three-pitch pitcher. You see the usage of the changeup. That has increased. I think Aaron Boone and everybody in the Yankees organization have asked this young man to be that complete pitcher. He has the ability with a big fastball. Obviously, you always talk about a slider, but when you have a three-pitch pitcher hurt, you understand that's going to be difficult to sit on one pitch because command issues really creep in. If he has three, he can get away with a well, lot of, a lot of those mistakes. His confidence has got to be high because through the first 10 starts this year, we thought this guy would be the Cy Young winner. And it all fell apart quick. It all down spiral for him. But this stuff he has is an electric 99 up to 100 with a fastball, slotted as 93, and a great changeup. When he mixes his pitches, you're right. He can be as, as good as anyone in Major League Baseball as a starter. He's still your uh, game one starter in the uh, wild yes. card? Yes, indeed. Yep. I, I told you last, last week he needed a little rest. <laughs> Give him a little rest. He'll be ready for the playoffs. Okay, don't rest Andujar. How about the performance? Uh, people talk about Otani getting rookie of the year, but I think Andujar playing in the pinstripes, getting that 25th home run deserves a lot more Both of these guys, and the Hart and Torres, they've been so key for this team. It's hard to, like, give it to one of them because they've been that great this year. You know, the first half was all about Torres. Second half, it's all about Endahar. So, bottom line is, he is the front runner for, for American League Rookie of the Year. But Otani still there, can steal some votes, and also his own teammate Torres can steal some votes also. Yeah, for me, Andujar it really comes into that conversation. But what's spectacular about it is that he didn't even start on the roster at the beginning of the year. Right. What a great story for Aaron Boone and the Yankees. Just keep on getting those younger players and kind of producing. He is fearless when it comes down to swinging the bat.